Hello, my name is Carl Caridi. I'm the property manager of the Americana in Bayside, Queens, New York. We um, had an oil leak in, in around 2007, a 25,000 gallon oil tank leaked in the ground in the back of the building. Around this time, the uh, whole green concept was starting to become very uh, popular in the uh, public's eye. And, um, and I have a board of directors that's not afraid to take chances, not afraid to uh, spend some money and uh, move into the future. When the oil tank leaked, uh, it cost us close to $400,000 just to clean the uh, oil spills up. We had a lot of work to do with the Department of Environmental Protection. To put a new oil tank in the ground would have cost another one or two hundred thousand um, dollars and that's when we decided to look into other avenues of, of energy possibilities. My name is Peter Munoz. I'm the uh, resident superintendent of the Americana in Bayside, Queens. TcoGen units, the cogens, are run on natural gas. Um, our boilers also run on natural gas. What The way our system works is we monitor the amount of electricity that we need and the TcoGens will provide more or less 80% of what we need. We can't go 100% off the grid, so Con Edison still provides a small percentage. That in turn produces the electricity. The byproduct would be the hot water. Um, the hot water is util utilized by heat exchangers uh, throughout the building. In the winter, it provides the heat for all of our apartments and our townhouses. And in the summer, it'll provide our air conditioning for our townhouses and all the apartments in the building. That's all the new equipment, and we fit all that. And, um, you know, going from one absorber unit to two, going from two boilers to seven, adding three cogens that were never in the room, and it seems like we have more uh, room in those rooms now than we did before. The timing was perfect because NYSERDA was offering um, uh, many incentives um, if we reached energy reduction goals. We've met all our expectations to move forward, you know, the end result of the project to meet our energy reduction goals and to justify the project with the amount of years it would take to uh, recapture the investment. And we did all that and we exceeded our energy reduction goals and we're very excited about that. Our electric bills were uh, close to seven or eight hundred thousand dollars a year and now they're uh, closer to two or three hundred thousand dollars a year so there was a big savings there. Um, our system is equipped with a black star feature which means um, in case of a blackout we would lose power just like any other property run by Con Edison in this area would lose power but we have the ability to manually turn on our cogens and restore power to the building. It's a nice cushion, it's nice insurance to have to know that in case of a blackout, you do have the capability of running a lot of equipment. For us especially, there are a lot of elderly tenants in our building, and just being able to run an elevator to help people out of the building in case of an emergency is just, there's, there's no price on that. We tied it into a building maintenance system, a building monitoring system, BMS system, um, by Computrols. And, um, I remotely get alarms on my iPhone on any problems throughout the whole plant. I was on vacation last year and uh, my handyman gave me a call and let me know that there seemed to be a problem. Remotely from being on vacation I was able to switch over some valves and uh, provide the uh, air conditioning necessary to run the building and I was thousands of miles away. We get calls and people want to talk to me and my Super Peter and come and visit and look at the plant and people are getting excited. So uh, we may start to see more cogens installed in residential buildings where previously they were mostly put in universities and hospitals and nursing homes, etc. So we're excited, we're happy, and we have no regrets.